All right. <clears throat> if you have a coral reefing hobbyist in your life, I'm going to tell you what they want for Christmas. What is up, coral people? My name is Remy. If you're new here, this is the Bahama Llama Coral YouTube channel, Christmas edition. If at any point you're like, you know what? It's the holidays. I feel like I'm in a giving spirit and you like what you see. You like the content. You like the video. Go ahead and subscribe, like, and hit the bell notification so you're notified whenever I post new videos. It is the season for giving. And I'm gonna give you some great ideas if you wanna surprise that coral lover in your life. If you're listening, this may be what I want for Christmas. One of the items rhymes with mightn't, perhaps some Mikotech Madeons. Maybe a big old water box? All right, first and foremost, we need to stay away from any kind of livestock, especially if you are going to surprise the reef hobbyist in your life. We should stay away from livestock. That includes fish, coral, snails, uh, macro algae, pods, whatever it is, we're staying away from any living organisms. All right, let's get to some ideas. Any coral reefer loves to get things in the mail. How about a subscription to a coral reef box? I'm not talking about live coral, I'm talking about like a mystery reef box or perhaps my aquarium box. Every month, the coral reefer in your life will get a box of random things that they might be able to use in the hobby. I was actually a subscriber of my aquarium box for several months and got a lot of useful things that I'm using on my tanks right now. Another thing you could do, and I'm going to totally negate what I said earlier, is a coral membership. Now, there are a bunch of companies out there that do stuff like this, but I can only speak for worldwide corals. And I'm only suggesting this because there's a lot of things that have to happen before the coral is actually shipped. So what you can do is you can pay for one month up front, you can pay for three months up front, you can get six months up front if you're feeling very generous. But that three month silver package isn't too bad. I've actually done this before. You get a lot of coral for your money. And the best part is, you give them the subscription and then the hobbyists in your life will set up what they want when they're getting it and all that so you don't have to handle any of that but you're still giving them the gift of coral. If you wanna be mindful of your budget, another great idea is just getting Coral Magazine, a subscription for one, two, three years. I think it's like $37 for six issues or something like that so it's pretty affordable. And who doesn't like to have a bunch of Coral Magazines on the coffee table? something to flip through. It's just a cool reminder of this amazing hobby that we all love so much. This next gift may seem a little technical, but I guarantee you that if you're getting this for someone that loves the hobby, they're going to know exactly what to do with it. An ICP test. I can speak for ATI. I have gone through ATI before and had my water tested, but Triton makes them as well as a couple other companies that do ICP testing. Basically, I would think about this as ancestry.com for your reef tank, kind of. You're basically sending in a water sample, usually somewhere in Germany, and they test your water for hundreds of things that us reefers don't have the test kits for. They're usually in the $40 range, so it's a great stocking stuffer for sure. The next gift is the tried and true gift card. If you really don't wanna put in any effort into this whatsoever, you can always just go with a BRS gift card, Marine Depot gift card, saltwateraquarium.com gift card, Worldwide Corals gift card, on and on and on and on. There are gift cards for every single website out there that you can imagine. I mean, honestly, any hobbyist is gonna be able to make great use of a gift card to any one of those companies. If you really wanna personalize something, go to the local fish store that your hobbyist is always at. In my case, in St. Louis, I love the Corner Reef. I'm always there. If my wife went in there, Steve, the owner, would know exactly what direction to point her in. Or better yet, lay down some cash at the local fish store. Hopefully it's a well-established local fish store and it's not just like gonna close up shop. I was talking with one of my friends about it and he said he got a $100 gift card to a local fish store and <laughs> didn't have a chance to spend it before it closed. So make sure that it's a well-established local fish store and a little shopping spree would be a lot of fun. Imagine walking into your local fish store and just having a hundred or 200 or $300 to just spend on a shopping spree in there. That would be pretty cool. And a nice way to personalize it aside from just getting a gift card. Another great gift idea is apparel or merch from any number of these industry leaders like Bulk Reef Supply or Worldwide Corals 
or if they've got a favorite YouTuber, I know Jake Adams from Reef Builders has his own merch, Inappropriate Reefer. If your hobbyist loves watching a YouTuber of choice, sorry, I have no merch, I apologize, maybe someday, that would be another great route to go. Get some apparel, get some stickers, some swag, whatever. And honestly, if you're not worried about a surprise, don't be afraid to ask them exactly what they want. And if we're not going with the surprise route, they might rattle off like a Ecotech MP10 or MP40 or uh, Radions or the new Aqua Illumination Lights or a Sump or a Skimmer. Those are really the things you can get into if you just ask and you're not really worried about getting them a surprise. And in most cases, people see this hobby as very technical, very complex, very deep, and it is but there's a lot of surface level things that you can really do to make that hobbyist in your life super happy over the holidays. Honestly, anything that points towards coral, they're gonna love it, I promise, especially if it's coming from someone special like you. No, I am not just making this video as a wish list for my family. And again, please stay away from live animals. We're not poking holes in boxes and putting that under the tree and hoping that uh, your hobbyist is gonna be super happy when they find a dead coral under the tree. Just don't do livestock when it comes to Christmas gifts. Follow this guide, there's a lot of great stuff in here. New scene, so I just got to work and on the way here I had a couple more ideas. One of those being if you have an aquarium in your town or somewhere close, like in St. Louis, we have the St. Louis Aquarium that's coming soon. We also have uh, their Shed Aquarium in Chicago. Aquarium passes would be good for the reefing hobbyist in your life. And also, coral conventions. A lot of times these aren't the cheapest to get into, especially if you're going to like a Reefapalooza or Aquashella or Macna. Those are probably the three big ones that I would suggest, so if there's do some research uh, if you're in Phoenix, if you're in Orlando, Chicago, Dallas, or California, there's probably a big coral convention that's coming near you, and it would be a good gift idea to just go ahead and pay for admission, and maybe even make a little vacation out of it. If you're a hobbyist, use this video as a tool to kinda nudge them along. If they're asking what you want for Christmas, you might as well just send them the link of this video and give them a good idea of what a coral reefing hobbyist actually wants. If you're a significant other of a hobbyist or a friend or a family member of one, there's a whole guide of things that I talked about in this video that you can just link to right from the description below. And something totally off topic, leave in the comments below, what is your favorite Christmas song? What really puts you in the Christmas spirit? My personal favorite is Andy Williams' It's the Most Wonderful Time of the Year, especially if there's some coral stuff under the tree. Just putting that out there. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, go ahead, like, subscribe, tell a friend, uh, hit the bell notification so you're notified whenever I upload new videos. We literally have three actual Christmas trees in our house upstairs, and this is all I could find for Christmas decorations, so I apologize. I'm so sorry that I could not deliver on the Christmas decorations, but hopefully these birch trees will put you in the Christmas spirit. Are they birch? Birchin stocks. If my wife sees this video, she's gonna give me a lot of crap for it because, well, these are basically all the things I asked for. All right, happy holidays. Send this to the people that are getting you things for Christmas or Hanukkah or whatever you celebrate. Happy holidays.